triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. We know the coordinates of B and C. We have to find out the coordinates of point A. Now we know AB equals to BC equals to AC as it is an equilateral triangle. Let us square. We will have AB square equals to BC square equals to AC square. Now let us see what is AB square. AB square is P minus 0 whole square plus Q minus 0 whole square which is equals to P square plus Q square that is coming from distance between two points formula. Similarly what is BC square? BC square is 0 minus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 2 root 3 whole square which is equals to 2 square plus 2 root 3 whole square. 2 square is 4 and 2 root 3 whole square is 12. So 16 we get. Let's do AC square now. AC square is P minus 2 whole square plus Q minus 2 root 3 whole square. Now let's take and equate them. First we will equate AB square to BC square. We will get P square plus Q square equals to 16. We need another relationship between P and Q so that we can solve for the values of P and Q. AB square equals to AC square we will take. We will write down P square plus Q square equals to P minus 2 whole square that is a minus b whole square formula identity so we can write down p square minus 4p plus 4 plus q square minus 4 root 3q plus 2 root 3 whole square that is 12. Simplify that we can cancel p square and q square on left hand side and right hand side. We will get a linear equation in p and q that will be 4p plus 4 root 3q equals to 16 or we can divide by 4 and get the condition as p plus root 3q equals to 4. Let us document these two conditions because we are going to work on them. 1 is p square plus q square is 16 and another is p plus root 3q equals to 4. Now we will try to express in terms of p so that we can solve for p. So we will write down p square plus q square is 16. So we can write down The second equation we have is p plus root 3 equals to root 3 into q equals to 4 which we can write it as root 3 into q is 4 minus p. Squaring on both sides we will have 3 q square equals to p square minus 8 p plus 16. Now let us express q square in terms of p square. So, we'll in the next step, we'll write down 3 into 16 minus p square equals to p square minus 8p plus 16. Now, we got a quadratic equation in p. Simplify that and let's find out the p values. So, we have 48 minus 3p square equals to p square minus 8p plus 16 are bringing everything from left hand side to right hand side. We will have 4p square minus 8p minus 32 equals to 0. We can divide by 4 to split the middle terms. p square minus 2p minus 8 equals to 0 
which can be factorized as p minus 4 into p plus 2 equals to 0. So, the values of p are either minus 4 or 4 or minus 2 sorry. So, p is 4 or minus 2. If p is 4 let us find out what is the value of q and if p is minus 2 what is the value of q. p equals to 4 substituting in p plus root 3 key q equals to 4 we will get q equals to 0. So, one set of values for a p comma q are 4 comma 0. Another one let us take p equals to minus 2 q equals to 4 minus p divided by square root of 3 that is 4 minus of minus 2 that is 6 by root 3 which is 2 root 3. So, the values of p and q are either 4 comma 0 or minus 2 comma 2 root 3. So, given two coordinates or two vertices of an equilateral triangle, the third vertex can be found out by equating all the vertices get two conditions because we have two variables to solve for express them in one variable and get a quadratic equation then by that we can calculate both the values of the variables.